Hey guys, this is Jesser. How's everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, 232, implement queues in stacks. Uh, you might have already done this before. It's an easy problem. We're going to implement the following operation of a queue using only stacks, okay? Uh, the method we're going to implement is uh, push, which is add the in queue, right? And next one is pop, which is DQ. Pick, and get the front element, empty. Uh, we need return whether the queue is empty. Mm -hmm. So this is a queue. We could push one, push two, not pick, it should be one, pop one, and then empty, false. Cool. So problem is that we cannot we cannot use any uh, like if you're using an array in JavaScript, we cannot use direct access. And we can use only the top and it gets the last element, right? Cool. And uh, so let's analyze this problem. Uh, we, we, we're, we can only using stack. So if we like say we are, so first it's empty, we use array. And then we push an element in, one. Then push the second one, element, one, two. And then push another one, one, two, three. And then push another one, one, two, three, four. Now, uh, for push, it's very simple. We just push it in. Now we need to get the second one pick. We need to get this one, right? Get this one. But we cannot use access the array at index zero because it's not stack. Uh, for stack, we can only the last access the last one, right? So we can only get four. So the problem here is we cannot get one directly, uh, but four. So what do we do? We cannot do with this only one stack, so we have to use. We already get the hint from the the title. We need to use the stacks, so we could use double stack, two stack. Suppose there's another stack. Uh, let's say it's something like this empty. Now we need to get one. What do we do? Uh, the the thing is that we could just uh, push them in, right? Just uh, Pop all these out and uh, put them all in the another stack. This stack, I call this first stack is push stack, which is just to push them in. Uh, this stack is to pop stack, is to get the elements in order. So once we we uh, uh, just pop all the elements into this stack, then here we can become element empty, and uh, this one is uh, gonna be four, three, two, one. Right? We pop four, put it, push them in, pop three. Push it in, so it's two, three. Now, now you see we can get the uh, the elements in order one, two, three, four, right? So it becomes clear that uh, we could use could use two stack. One is for pop. One is for push. Oh, uh, the first one is for push. This one is for pop, right? Cool, let's do it. So the right queue, I say this push stack equals in the empty array. This pop stack. Okay. Now we push. When we push, we do not we just push us uh, we just push it into our push stack. And uh, it's done. Now we need to pop, right? Uh okay, we, we just uh, try implement this first. Uh, the, the queue is empty only when the t two of these stacks are empty. So return this push stack, then t equals zero, and this pop stack, then t equals zero, right? This is done. Now we peek. Uh, for peek, mm -hmm. for peek, it's a little tricky, I think. We need to actually create a new method, which is a uh, Which is, I think, it is a method called. Uh, it's not prototype, but private. I say limit. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just say it should be. Uh, it means uh, transfer. Okay, for transfer. What we do, we will while this push stack the name is bigger than zero. When there is thing in the push stack, 
with this pop stack, push, this push stack, pop. Yeah, so we will do the, uh, using a loop and uh, reverse the items into a pop stack. Yeah. So when we are going to pop, we're going to say that all operations are valid. And uh, when we're coding pop, I'll say if this empty, I'll return null. And then it, it is not empty. So I'll check if this pop stack then it is zero. Yeah, if this is zero, we need to do what? We need this transfer, right? So we need to transfer. And then we just return. Re Sorry, I got this R key on my keyboard and um, broken. Return this pop stack pop right yeah this is the for pop and then this one for pick uh, it's the same we check it's empty or not if it is we transfer and then we return the last element return this pop stack and this pop stack and then this one yeah that's it I think we're done hmm cool yeah, I think this is the right solution. Let's see if there's something better. To stack push per. Uh. Step one, top. Uh, what does it mean? This means the new sentiments must be pushed to the bottom of the stack. To do so, we first transfer all elements into auxiliary stack. Then the new survival enemy is pushed on top two, and then all the elements are popped, pushed one. Mm -hmm. So in pushing element, we ah, uh, I see. Wow, this is very really slow, right? For push, but for pop, it's okay. So uh, his idea is that uh, we just maintain only one stack, oh, uh, using this as auxiliary. But when we push, we just push it in it. Uh, we will uh, pop this out and push it at the bottom and then move this back in. This for pop. Uh huh. Two stack push. Yeah, this one. This is maybe what we need here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think we're doing the second solution. It's not that difficult, right? Two stack, two stacks push. Uh huh. A more ties. What does it mean? A push image the back of the queue. A push queue. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. So, yeah, we. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah, so, I think we're doing the same. Yeah, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.